All right, we are out here on the Lazy River. I've got my other drive with me. I've got a backup drive just in case something happens so I'm not screwed. Hobie parts can be tough to get sometimes. Um, so yeah, I have two drives. I'm gonna try and fix my other one, no big deal. Well, there goes my drive. Just completely broke. What the f Yeah, we're out here. Uh, Tatog season's closed and we're just gonna go for striper. They're boiling in front of me right now. So I think when I first got the kayak, I thought trolling was something you know, it was new to me and it was fun, but since it's been about two years now, I kind of avoid trolling altogether, mostly for fun reasons. I find casting or and retrieving to be just a little more fun and you can really dial in the fish. But I'll tell you what, sometimes the stripers will not be actively feeding and trolling is a great way to keep your lure in the strike zone for much longer. And it's also a great way to locate where the larger schools are and then when that tide cycle flips or when they kind of go into more of an active feeding mode you can you know dial them in you know where they are so trolling does have its advantages as some you know sometimes nice fish man some really nice ones rolled in here they're kind of all sitting in the same spot i just rolled over them come on bud Wow, these fish are working me, man. Holy smokes. I think it's just that they woke up and they're feeding and they weren't in here up until a minute ago. They just rolled in from the sound. Wow, another tank, dude. Another tank. Oh, the power of these fish is always so impressive. <clears throat> Come on, just get that leader. Got him. Got him. Wow, look at this fish. This thing is a tank. This thing is a tank. Oh, hook just popped out. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Holy smokes. What a tank. This fish is a tank. <laughs> Look at that fish. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This guy's technically a holdover. I'm not sure. Yeah, he looks like a holdover. You ready, champ? Peace. Chick, chick, chick. There's a couple pretty decent fish in here. I just, they're not biting. I can't get them to bite. There you go. That's the decent one. Whoa. Whoa. That's the one we're looking for. Crap, don't get in the morning, don't get in the morning. Get out of there. He's trying to wrap me up. Come on, bud. I see ya. Nice fish, real nice fish. Those are the big marks I was seeing on the bottom. Real nice fish. Come on, bud. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, bud. Wow, this is a really nice fish. Come on, bud. He does not want to come up. Come on. Come on. Just grab the leader and we're all good. Got him. Nice fish. Oh, wow. Super nice fish. Look at this tank. Oh my gosh. On that divine, uh... <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this beast. 
Look at that beast of a fish. Cheese. <laughs> wow, you're a tank. He's got a belly full of herring. You're a tank. <laughs> Latest Kata. Nice. Just those two rogue tanks rolling through here. I'm not really marking them anymore. But yeah, I think those tanks were in here for like 20 minutes feeding up and then I caught them right at the end. They were cruising under me for a while. I just couldn't connect. I kept trying to vertically jig for them and they wouldn't take it. They want that fast retrieve. Look at that guy. <laughs> Super nice. Hey, bud. Ow. You are chomping, man. Striped bass have these little teeth. I don't know if you can see them, but they're right on the bottom of their jaw. Later, bud. And, um... I don't know if they just don't have a lot of, like, uh, depth to them or something, but a lot of times the teeth get left in my fingers. There he is. There he is. Finally got a decent hook set. There he is. Whoa. Decent little schoolie. There we go. Finally got one on the bait caster. Finally. Dirt. Gosh, I'm such a klutz. Yeah, I don't know. If anyone has any suggestions for the bait caster, I'd love to hear them. I'm just not very good at it. I can't figure it out. Interesting. This guy's got a couple little parasites on him. All right, champ. I'll see you later. I haven't used this drive in a while. It is Echo the Dolphin. There he is. Nice! Heck yeah! These are the fish I'm trying to catch. The ones out in the sound, these are the ones that you want to catch. See how much active they are? That was on that uh, pink and white Elias uh, V-Shad. First cast out here. It's the... Uh, I think he called this one Easter Bunny. This camera's not rolling. Yeah, I think Elias called this one the Easter Bunny. I love rabbits. So, uh, but yeah, nice fish. Real nice fish. Later. Whoa, is that a fish? Oh yeah. Wow, he came out of nowhere. Grabbed it last minute. One of that pink panther. Nice fish too. Yeah, see how much different these fish are acting? They're totally different out here. These might be migrators. So you can see they're, they're really not that big. But they're uh, yeah, I know you wanted that pink panther, man. Wow, look at this guy. Look at his fin. It's like uh, going the opposite direction. There you go, bud. Your fin was stuck inside your, uh, your gill plate. Yeah, these guys are... Uh, I see two pieces of sea lice on him. Super cool. Have fun migrating, bud. Wow, that, that water's really, really cold. It's, 
it's still, uh, I think, 48, even in the shallows. That's very cold. <laughs>